Okay, hello everyone, Mean Speed here today. Gonna to be doing a video um, showing you how to launch the Battleford Heroes client um, in 2016 straight from your desktop. Um, obviously, you wouldn't be able to do it from the website anyway because everything is closed. But I just thought I'd do this because not many people know that this is possible and it might interest a few of you. Now, first of all, a disclaimer, I wanna get this like right in the open right now because you might have clicked on this video because you think it's possible to play Battlefield Heroes again. It's not. Um, basically what this will do is it will open the desktop from my, not the desktop, well, it will open the client from my desktop without the need for the website or logging into an account, but it will actually stop at the, the part where it actually tries to connect to EA servers because obviously those servers were shut down. Um, so yeah, um, but it still opens the client. Um, you know, this might be interesting to some of you at least. Uh, that's why I'm doing it just to sort of get the word out. Um, there are a few videos on this anyway, but not like as a proper commentary type thing. I don't think so anyway. But um, yeah, that's why I'm using Bandicam because I'm trying to record my uh, desktop and everything. So first of all, you need Battleford Heroes, obviously. Um, if you if you deleted the game files for you know disk space or whatever, I have them on Dropbox, so I'll have the link in the description. You can just find it from there. Um, I've got them on Dropbox, and that'll be fine. So just download it, and um, you need to go to Program Files, um, EA Games, Battleford Heroes. That's where it's stored. Um, that's where the files are, and you need to make a well a shortcut of the Battleford Heroes .exe and put it on your desktop. And then what we're going to do now is what you need to do. I'll explain how this is possible. You, pardon me. All right, you don't need. You never really needed the website. You only needed it once to actually find something called a session code or a session ID, uh, which was generated as soon as you press the play now button on the website, which allowed you to just get into the game. You never needed to basically log in ever again, as far as I know. You just needed the code. Um, now this code, I'm going to show you what you need to do. This code, I'm assuming it was generated years ago or, or maybe just last year. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't know if they expire or anything, but yeah. Um, this was given to me by a user on YouTube named Beat the Borg, and I actually did know of this, but I, I did watch a video, and I'm going to quote, um, I'm going to try and credit the other guy whose video I watched in the description, uh, if I can find it, um, because... I didn't know his name right now, but um, you know, I actually found it first from him, but I couldn't get it to work and beat the Borg did kindly send me um, some, you know, a proper tutorial, but they thought it would be good if I did like a video for this, and so did I. So yeah. So you got this. Okay, you need to right click battlefieldheroes.exe on your desktop, go to the properties and go to shortcut. In the target, you'll just probably just have um, where is it? Just this probably. This here. Um, but what you need to do, and I will put this obviously in the description as well, so you can just copy paste it. You need to put all this extra stuff. So website, host name, playbattlefordheroes.com, web browser. This is the session ID here. It's, it's a load of mumbo jumbo really, but um, essentially what this is, is um, a code that came out of someone actually logging in on their account and pressing play now. So I don't know who made the code. Um, I don't know whose it is, but it is from someone's account, basically. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to do. You need to put that in there in the target and then save it, apply it. Now, there were some errors I had. Basically, I think you need to change your permissions um, in the control panel if you can't actually do this, if you get an error. But um, yeah, I'm going to just, I've got this on my taskbar, so I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to launch Battlefield Heroes. And you can see it's actually opening here. Um, I'm going to try and drag it if I can. So you've got this nice little... Uh, you know the loading uh, background here on Seaside Skirmish. That was always nice um, Yeah, so it's gonna try and connect obviously you can see a nice Seaside Skirmish background here with the sunset um, And that's obviously the last known version of the game and it's gonna yeah It's gonna keep trying you can see the hero the awesome hero cursor here loading um, But yeah, it's not gonna be able to connect because obviously the EA servers were shut down here We go unable to connect 1002. This was an error that came uh, literally, as soon as Battle Heroes was shut down, uh, you were taken out of the game, unless you're in the tutorial, and this, uh, you had this on your screen, and as soon as you pressed OK, um, well, it was thought that you'd never be able to launch this ever again. You can launch the client, okay? This is what the point of the video is, to show you this. But um, right now, I don't know if there's a way to circumvent, to get past this stage, 
Um, I don't know if there's a way in the files that you can actually get it. So it doesn't have to go, go through this bit and you can just go straight to whatever the function was for you to go to the tutorial because that was the offline part of Battleford Heroes. But, um, you know, if there's anyone out there who's interested in this, you know, maybe they can see what they can do. It's well out of my range, uh, out of my boundaries, but at least I know how to do this. And it's it's just cool to me. I mean, I know you, you can't go much, go met anywhere with it really um at, at least at the moment um but it's just nice i think that you can at least do this um maybe you guys will find it a bit weird or interesting i'm not sure but yeah i'm just going to do it again just to show you um how am i going to prove this is in 2016 because some people might say oh okay even if you think of something that happened in the news recently uh the the footage might be old and you might just be making up the commentary okay um let's think there was a Dutch, I heard this on the news, I actually saw it, there was a Dutch, um, what was she, a cyclist, and she had a pretty severe accident uh, in the Olympics recently, in Rio, there we go, okay guys, confirmed, 2016, recording, whatever, um, yeah, but I mean, try it for yourself if you don't believe me, or you don't think this is real, or whatever, I'm just going to try and run it again, um, I think it won't work, I think you have to actually do is, after the first attempt, you need to go to... Uh, task manager actually end the task because it hasn't closed properly but yeah um all the other stuff will be in the description don't obviously try and pause it at certain points where i've showed this um it'll be in the description but yeah thanks to beat the borg for this for the tutorial that they gave me um thank you to the other guy i'll try and find your name who did the video um that i unfortunately couldn't follow properly i, I think that was just me maybe but um yeah um Hopefully you guys find this interesting in some way. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, just that's it really. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.